Greetings everybody, this is Sly Slime and I'm here with a tutorial on a very technical subject. This is about the delay that you get from eliminating things off of clocks and also a bit of what that means and why you want to do that. This is a new world that I just created, um, so let's do some housekeeping first, command block output false. We're going to be running some clocks, game rule to daylight cycle false. So also slash give slash line command block and let's grab ourselves a redstone block hello cats um yes let's find a place here where we can uh we can do some command blocking uh, positive x perfect so that's not what i wanted fill clock right here Okay, so now that we have this running, let's say that at some point on this clock I want to run a command for a certain uh, condition with an execute. So let's add a scoreboard, objectives add uh, ticks dummy, and uh, then let's add a command here somewhere that goes scoreboard players add and a ticks one and let's do board objectives at this play side bar ticks now that's counting up uh which is all good and let's say i have some a bunch of commands here actually let's say i have 20 commands i want to run that essentially look something like this execute at a score ticks equals 10 score ticks min equals 10 and then do something uh, so say woo score is 10. Now if I do scoreboard players reset slice line ticks, then we see that when my score hits 10, I am going to execute that command. And let's, for the sake of the argument right now, assume that that's a bunch of commands. Now, because this is a clock and you're running these commands every tick, you are going to incur a performance penalty for running a bunch of commands. Even though you're only executing the second part of the command that actually does something when the first part is true. So the first part has to match this selector and then you actually run some commands. But just the fact that you're running a command block incurs a performance penalty and just the fact that you're executing this first part of the command actually trying to match the selector is going to be a second uh, performance penalty. So actually just having an empty command block like this on a clock does reduce your performance somewhat. So if you have that bunch of commands you can eliminate them off of that clock and the way you do that in a simple case is you just place a row of commands somewhere else and you pretty much just do this same command for the fill clock but we're going to be filling from some other place so what i can do is i can summon an armor stand here and all we need is a custom name really and let's call this ticker or whatever come up with a better name if you're doing this in a real device and let's say you no know, gravity one so we don't have a falling if we remove this block or something and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our say command and then we're going to stick it off of a block on this instead so actually let's summon this armor stand with a marker tag too so we don't have to bother about its hitbox so now if i set that we see that this entire row gets filled with stone it's going to be redstone when I fill it with redstone from this armor stand, which means that we can run this command off of it. And then, of course, here, if we have the score of 10, then we are going to do execute for that e name equals uh, ticker. And in its place, we're going to do the fill with the redstone blocks. So we're going to fill an offset of 11 with red cell block. So this should work exactly the same, right? 
Here I have the test, we're filling with redstone blocks and we're going to fill this up and we're going to run the save command. So it should work exactly the same as it did before. Let's reset our ticks and figure it out. Yeah, well it says woo score is 10 still, so that appears to be working. We have eliminated a bunch of commands off of this clock and now we only run them when this thing is active. So we are running it for at A here, so if we have more than one player in the world, uh, all of those commands are going to run for all of the players, which may not be what we want. So let's add our execute back in here, so we protect against all the players saying woo scores 10, even though only some of the players have a score of 10. And then reset again and see what happens. Suddenly we see this flash up in redstone, but we no longer get the say command. And that is the problem that I'm here to speak to you about today. Now let's do this again and uh, let's take this first execute and let's stick on a tell raw instead of a say. So what we're gonna do is tell raw at a and then we want a essentially the same message so text who score is and then a score which is at p objective which is ticks. There, now if we reset we're gonna see oh score is 10. Now if we just take this tell raw and move it off to this line instead we're gonna see what the problem is. Whoa, score is 11. So by removing these blocks from this clock and moving them over onto this line we have incurred a one tick delay. And that is because these, the way these fill commands work in Minecraft is this fill command is going to fill all of these things with stone and then this uh, fill command is going to fill all of these blocks with redstone blocks but it's not going to actually update anything instead what's happening is it's scheduling something called a tile tick on these blocks. A tile tick means that whenever Minecraft is processing this chunk of the next tick it's going to update all the blocks around it and that is actually the the reason a fill clock works at all. If it updated immediately this would just get stuck in an infinite loop filling with stone and redstone and stone and redstone and so on. So that's the reason we can have a 20 hertz clock updating on every tick. The downside of that is whenever you fill off of a clock anything you fill will only execute the next tick. So, the only way we can sort out this situation is by accepting the one tick delay and then actually reducing this thing with one tick. So we have to detect things one tick early, trigger off this entire line, and then suddenly we get back our woo score is 10. That is our say command and this one is our tell raw and now that's saying the correct number as well. Can you always do this? No, you cannot. Sometimes you're just detecting some input by the player or something which means that you cannot trigger earlier like this. If you're triggering off of something that is counting in any way you can always adjust for it. So for instance if you're triggering off of a TNT block that is counting down its fuse then you can trigger off of one instead of zero if you need a one tick delay or two instead of zero if you need a two tick delay and so on. If you go back to my predator device this is the reason why some of the commands need several ticks to execute because there's one tick delay in filling another row of redstone blocks just to try to reduce the amount of commands we run every single tick to not have them all on a single clock. But it is important that you know that there's a one tick delay if you fill something off of a clock and to adjust for it if you can or in some cases to just accept that you have to have stuff running on a clock to be able to react to inputs quickly enough. And that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Celeste Lime and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.